Come along as we show you Wayne's French Cleat Gym Organization System. We're so glad you're here and thanks for watching. Well, we did a video last week showing Wayne's garage and wanted to do a little more in-depth view of his French cleat system that he built. Um, so starting with not a French cleat system, this again, we discussed in the last video is where he holds his, I think they're called bumper weights, are they? Yes. Bumper weights. Um, so he holds those on there. It's on and he stained it to match the rest of his set. So let's we'll start from right to left and excuse the dustiness. We're not gonna try to make this look all perfect for you. But anyway, so here's what he's got. So everything that he needs out here, he's designed. So he's got the keys. This is the Google pod to play his music while he's working out, plugged in. He mounted a surge protector on there. That plugs into the wall there. This is what he designed to hold his cell phone. Everything's full of chalk dust, so. His water bottle automatically hangs there. Let me see if I can get up high enough so you can see this piece here. This holds uh, his pull-up, I think they're pull-up bars. The one that holds his clock. Oh, dip bars, sorry. Dip bars. His fan, and again, this can move around, so he can move this where he needs it. He's got his chalk dust. This is um, what he uses to put the weights on his deadlifts. And it is actually starting to come apart a little bit, so he said he's gonna redesign that soon. Okay, going back down to the bottom again. So we've got this piece here. There's two of them. And they hold the barbells. And they're not quite resting there, so they're not being supported. They're only being supported by the French cleat. If you're pushing up against the wall, that's how it works. So it pushes up against the wall, he said. Ah, I can't get in there to give you a better view. Here and then. That's free fall. Yeah. Let's see if this will give us a better view. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, it hangs on there, and these are the back here that's drilled into the wall, or screwed into the wall. This is the box he has. It's got miscellaneous stuff in it, his extra chalk, everything. Stores the roller on top of there. Oh, we gotta tell you about this thing. I'll, I'll do another video on the, massa the massage gun. That thing is amazing. And then he's got this one here. So again, this is another piece that's hanging on there. This whole, like, almost looks like a coat rack. And so he just hangs all of his miscellaneous things on that. He's got his shoes on one. So I'll pull that one off and show you what it looks like on the back. And then some things you don't even have to build something for. They just can hang right on there. So let me see if I can show you this one here. So that's what it looks like, cut at a 45 degree angle. And then the back of the board is cut at a 45 degree angle. And so when that pops in there, oops, get it up high enough. Then it's supported by the wall. Anyway, it's a really neat system. And he also designed one for the inside of our garage for the tools. And um, if you do want to know more about the system and how he designed it, definitely let us know in the comments. But it's worked really well. I'll stand back and get you a, a better view. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit.